Hi, this is Jamie from Antelope Beads, and this is the Autumn Splendor Bracelet. It's one of many designs that we have online, antelopebeads.com, in the designer's corner. Today we're going to make a similar version using a different color leather and a different slider, a flower instead of a butterfly, but the same clasp. It's called the T-bar clasp, and it comes with these two components. To get started, what we do first is use this little oval ring piece of the clasp and take the leather and you want to slide both ends through the ring. It generally works best to try one at a time as it's a pretty snug fit and in order to get it to work it tends to be easier if you do it separately. I also have a pair of chain nose pliers on hand as well as a pair of nylon jaw pliers in case I need to use them to help guide the leather through. Gotten it through this much on both sides. So now, luckily, it's letting me just take and pull that slider down. As it gets closer to the bottom where the leather curves, I may need to pull one at a time again until I get it snug there close to the bottom, leaving a small loop of leather. I'm going to try to go just a little bit further. And then I want to try to get my ends as even as possible. Adjusting as needed to do that. A little bit more. Okay. Next, you're going to take both of the ends of leather again and slide on your little slider. In this case, the small flower. It slides on right up to that oval piece and actually overlaps the top of it. And the last step is adding the T-bar piece of the clasp. Before you put any glue in, you want to make sure that this bar is up facing the same direction as the flower as it will feed through here when you're finished. So making sure that it's in the right direction, you can take your super new glue, add a couple drops to the base of the piece of this clasp, and then I'm just going to gently move it back and forth and around just to make sure the glue covers the whole surface area inside. Next, I can take the ends and feed them into the clasp piece. This is also a snug fit, so don't get frustrated if you have a little bit of a challenge getting them in. Again, you have your tools handy if needed. This one was actually not too bad at all. So now we have our ends in there. I'm going to go ahead and push them together and let them sit for a few moments just as that glue starts to set and then I can go ahead and set it aside. The other place where you can add a drop of glue is to the slider here. You can pull it away from the second half of the clasp. You can add a tiny, tiny dab of glue right there and then slide the slider back over. And that glue will help to ensure that it stays there. Now you just need to let this piece dry, at least overnight, before you wear it. But once you're dry, you're good to go, and you can wear this design idea, or make it in any other colors, and using different colors of the findings and the spacers, as well as using different styles of spacers and sliders as well. And again, please go to the designer's corner at antelopebeads.com to see lots more ideas using the 5mm round leather, 5mm flat leather, and the 10mm flat leather. Thank you!